the focus for today is uh, our the main topic is uh, C Central. I don't know if uh, we get through uh, in the first minute with the sound, but um, to uh, make that statement again, we're going to focus on C Central yes. uh, and trying to give you a short glimpse of how you can work from home uh, with your workstation still at your workplace uh, in a good way exactly. without any loss of performance. And uh, also in the application side, uh, Autodesk uh, has done that for, for a while now uh, with the yearly upgrades and all the applications around that also upgrading uh, in the same pace, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So even the visualization systems and like uh, Enscape, Twinmotion, uh, Lumion, all these uh, softwares are doing these upgrades and all of them right now are developing uh, systems for collaboration. Uh, and we're also going to talk about that uh, a yes. bit later on. Yes. Yeah. So let's dive into it. And going to, to the background of HPC Central uh, is actually that it's, it's, a, it's a software protocol that HP engineers wrote more than 20 years ago, developed and wrote. And the first customer was actually NASA uh, over in the US uh, with one main purpose was to send the pictures from the rovers uh, that uh, has been flown to Mars on this, and, and sending back those images from those rovers back to Earth. So I think that's a good, uh, let's say, yeah, statement of the, the, the capabilities of, of this protocol and the solution. Uh, more recently, a couple of months ago, we received an Engineering Emmy Award, which we're super proud of, of course. And uh, the reason or the background was that, as a quote from one customer, actually that HP ha helped save Hollywood, meaning that in time in the in the, in the pandemic uh, time we have uh, all the production studios, many of them had to work from home, have to work from from home, of course, and in order to make their continue to deliver on the production deadlines for the TV TV series, Netflix series, etc., and all, also the cinematic productions, they were able to do so by using this protocol, the solution. Uh, also, uh, so, so, so we're, that, that's really important. And the, what the solution really consists of is basically three different parts. And you don't have to use all of them. So the, the fundamental thing is that you connect to a remote workstation system. And that system can be in your office, uh, like it is, today, or it could be rack mounted, or it could be wherever, it doesn't really matter. Uh, and you're, 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 you only have to use the remote boost protocol uh, for the connection. And there are a couple of key features that really makes this protocol unique. First and foremost, when you think about all the remoting capabilities, security is perhaps uh, the most important aspect. And there's actually no more secure remoting protocol than remote boost. And why? It's because we are only transferring pixels uh, and changes in pixels from the sender to your receiver machine. And those are also encrypted with 256-bit encryption. So there's no actual data leaving the sender systems that are being transferred. So that means that your most intellectual, mo most secure IP stays secure on that remote system that you're accessing. Uh, then there is the possibility to add a third com component and that's the C Central Connect. That's the new broker software we launched last year. And that's the purpose of that is if you want to deploy the solution in a bigger scale with many users and you want your IT uh, administrators to manage the solution, manage all the connections and do pre-provisioning using your Active Directory. Uh, and really set up the, the authentication uh, so that users can just do a one-click connect to their systems. That's the way to go. But in its most basic form, you don't have to use to connect uh, at all. No, because uh, in the most basic mode, uh, you can only use the remote boost as it is. Uh, and we have uh, gathered a few, a few samples here uh, that we can talk a little bit about. Uh, in the first row, uh, uh, it's the simplest way of connecting. Uh, you're using 
your client uh, at home accessing your workstation uh, in your workplace. And you can uh, have up to eight monitors in these settings. Uh, so pure and simple, just connect your work uh, station at your workplace. In the middle row, uh, it's a kind of interesting uh, configuration where I can access my own computer, as in the first uh, example. But I can also add other workstations and work with them uh, simultaneously, uh, and up to four monitors uh, with that configuration. So I can add, add a, a workstation for um, render visualizations or uh, one workstation for simulations. And still using my workstations for for my normal CAD work. Uh, and uh, the final example uh, in the bottom row, uh, it's uh, where the collaboration comes into place. Uh, I can uh, invite Stefan, for instance, to my workstation and say, "Hey, uh, we would like to discuss this uh, issue in Revit 2020 or something." And uh, I can even give Stefan and take take it away from Stefan, the control over the, the points around and uh, access to the machine. So it's more up to me as a host uh, for the event to give and take away uh, Stefan's access. Yeah. And it's pure and simple. Uh, and it, it is on your HP workstation today, uh, pre-installed. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about that later on. So, yeah. But how does, uh, I, I'm kind of um, curious about the C-Central uh, part of the broker. Do we have any information on that? Absolutely. But before we go into that, what about the performance, Patrick? What if oh, I have to do point. my heavy lifting visualization? Yeah. yeah. Do I ever have to compromise on performance in this solution? No, you don't, uh, you don't need to do that because uh, your access is one-to-one. -one. Uh, so you're accessing your own work search. It's, it's not a, a shared uh, server visualized. Uh, so no virtualization. No virtualization, no. Nothing, not, nothing that you share yeah. with others. It's your own computer you're accessing. So that's the main point thing. Exactly. Yeah. So you should expect uh, just like local experience. Yeah. That's really the one of the key benefits. So going into the C Central Connect, the so-called broker I touched on before, yeah. this is a schematic of how it looks. So we're using the remote boost protocol to, to, to handle the connections and, and send the, the encrypted pixel I was pixels I was talking about. So here is, is an illustration of how, how, your I, how your IT DMs can set up the environment with the pre-provisioning and the one-click access I was talking about. And in this example, you see on the left-hand side that you can assign different pools of systems as well. So if you think about you have within your organization the design team doing the CAD work, uh, which is probably is the majority of your users, they have one set of uh, dedicated systems that are uh, exactly uh, the same uh, spec. And they get, when they click access uh, or connect, they get the first uh, post, uh, free machine and start working. Uh, then we have the marketing guys, maybe they're, they're using Adobe InDesign or uh, Photoshop or uh, other uh, Autodesk applications for their work, they have their systems. And then we have the simulation guys doing all the heavy lifting simulation uh, simulation tar tasks. They had C8s maybe, very specifically spec, spec to them. And it's only the, those guys that can access those machines and do their specific work. So that's a simple overview of the broker uh, possibilities. So Patrick, in terms of investments and how difficult is this really to get going and what do I have to do really? What does it cost? Yeah, it doesn't really need to be that difficult uh, or expensive for, for that matter. And we have just uh, shown you on this slide uh, all the different machines that are in the, uh, are in the uh, workstation portfolio. So if you do have a uh, HP workstation, uh, as I mentioned before, it's pre-installed. It's already there and has been for many, many years, uh, to, to be honest. And uh, it doesn't need to be that simple. Just install it and access it directly. And it can be rack mounted in a server area or at your desk in your normal workplace. Yeah. Yeah. So, so if you're running our hardware, it's 
completely license free if you're running the remote boost. Remote Connect comes with a with a, a, a license cost, which is quite low to be honest. Then Patrick was talking about if you want to move, let's say, to a bit of a bigger solution and, and uh, maybe rack mount the workstations to get the hardware clo really close to your storage where your application and, and the project files are located for really fast load times, etc. And we want to maximize the density, meaning the, the performance per, per cubic centimeter, basically. Mm -hmm. Then we would uh, probably talk about this, the new 4R, CSUN for 4R, one U rack workstation, which is really powerful, but in a one U form factor, uh, which really brings that ultimate uh, combination and, and maximum performance to density ratio. Then also I talked about initially the security is imperative when we talk about remoting solutions. And we as HP recognized this problem, if you will, many years ago and for, uh, where we force saw that uh, the, the number of cyber attacks would increase exponentially. And that's exactly the, uh, the reality we're facing right now. And when you are working with your most uh, secure projects, you, uh, you, you need to have a solution that is robust and really secure. And we're de delivering this in, in the protocol, as we talked about, uh, but also in the hardware itself, the systems you're accessing. And we have, since many years, a built-in extra uh, security chip, chip that we call the HP Endpoint Security Controller. The marketing name is known as HP Sure Start. And that extra chip always controls and makes sure that your BIOS integrity is intact and the system manages this automatically. On top of this extra chip, we have also built in a lot of uh, extra security features in the OS level to protect your most critical uh, services running in, in, in the OS layer in Windows or Linux. And then we have a lot of other on top solutions, but we are truly unique with uh, bringing hardware uh, a route of trust, meaning a hardware-based security built in from the start in our factory into our systems. And we are the only company doing this so far. Uh, and that's, that's great to be aware of. Ooh. Then we're shifting <laughs> gears a bit, Patrick, to yeah. other solutions. Yeah, uh, because uh, there is some other things in have you been in our booth earlier years? You know that we are heavily investing in the VR segment. And uh, in VR, we're also seeing a lot of uh, collaboration tools right now. Uh, so all the tools I mentioned earlier, the Enscape, uh, Twinmotion, Lumion, uh, VRED from Autodesk is a really good tool for doing the collaboration. And we're seeing collaboration not only for showing uh, your customer uh, what, what you're planning to do in your uh, AEC market. Uh, we, we are looking at collaboration between co-workers or uh, your clients or between management and, and, and the co-workers and architects and, and uh, construction engineers. So that kind of software are, are coming uh, as well for VR now. So uh, the VR environment is maturing uh, from that point of view. So I think we have one slide showing one of the samples of, uh, uh, it's from uh, B-Rex uh, from Vixel Norway, right? Correct. Yeah. Where you can see small avatars of uh, users uh, that are spread over uh, all over the world. And you can go in to, to your uh, native Revit model and do the changes and, and uh, redlining, have collision detection, talk uh, with uh, other uh, engineers uh, to solve the, the problems in the, in the BIM environments directly. Yeah. Uh, exactly. And, and this system has full integration with yeah. all the, the major BIM platforms as well. Um, and also, this is an example of a system where you can run both in desktop mode and in VR headset mode. So you don't have to use VR headsets to, to run it. You can also run it in normal desktop mode, if you will. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so what are we doing, Patrick, as what are we doing? To, to help aid in, in this uh, environment? Uh, this is, we are, we are actually uh, developing uh, our own headsets. Uh, this is uh, 
the headsets with the highest uh, resolution of the uh, on the glasses or on the lenses. Uh, so this is generation two, and this is actually the only thing you need to go out to your workplace, uh, the the build the construction site, and you can have either the clients or uh, even a work employee, uh, the the builders, construction workers, to look at what they are going to do. Uh, so it's uh, and this is really really powerful to do this. Yeah, and the resolution, for example, it, the high resolution we have in the Reverb G2 is really good because it really brings that immersive experience to a new level. It also en en enables you to read texts and instructions and measurements on, on a normal reading distance, for example. If you think about if you have a lower res headset, maybe you have to lean in to see what, what's there. With this high resolution, you can comfortably view everything in full resolution and, and the highest clarity and level of detail, which is, re is really important if you're going to use this technology uh, continuously. And it goes without saying, of course, that uh, you also have tools for navigating and really teleport yourself to of different course. places and uh, have a look at your construction. Of course. Yeah. Good. Uh, so we're coming to a bit of an end, and uh, we wanted to give you a, an overview shortly of our CBOOK mobile workstation portfolio. I would say, put it like this, I've been doing this for, for quite a number of years now, but the generation seven of CBOOKs is the biggest leap we've done so far. For every generation, we've improved on performance and mobility, etc. but the G7s really uh, is a big step. Uh, and why is because we changed the instruct the construction completely so especially the ventilation and the cooling of the systems if you think about the cbook studio create and the fury the highest performing platforms are now liquid cooling and that enables us to or you guys out there to run cpu and gpu at maximum performance simultaneously for the first time ever. This has never been possible before, but with the new cooling construction that we've implemented, this is now possible. And that results directly in higher productivity, maximum productivity. Also physically, we reduce the dimensions, the size and weight of all these systems dramatically. So as Patrick is, is showing here, we're showing the screen to body ratio is, is maximized, is, 85 to almost 90% now. So we shrunk down this chassis size and maximized the display size. As you know, since before, probably these, these are all metal chassis. So really sturdy, uh, has a long uh, lifespan, really, really durable. You can drop them, they will hold. Uh, and they are just great to work with and has that great feel overall. The keyboards have been refined as well, super quiet, especially important when you're working from home, maybe working late, you're not disturbing your colleagues or your family, for example. So everything, and also the built-in audio, the, the, the in collaboration with Bang & Olufsen is just better than ever. You have fantastic, I would say, amazing sound quality and experience with these systems as with our lead books, which is, which is extremely important when we're doing all these Zoom and Teams meetings all day in and out. So we truly looked at all the aspects of how mobile workstations should perform. So maximum performance and minimizing the size and weight. That's really the, uh, the big step forward, I would yeah. say. And we see a huge uptake, I would say, in, in, um, in, in the shift from desktop to, mob to mobile overall. And uh, also a uh, thing to mention, you can also use the CBOOKs actually as sender machines if they're physically located it, at your office or somewhere else and connect to them as, as powerful workstations from home, from any other de device that you have. That's also possible. Uh, we should also mention that uh, we have uh, movies uh, in the uh, booth uh, over uh, there, 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 <laughs> there, <laughs> there we go. The expo booth. The expo booth. Yeah. Uh, we have collected some videos uh, showing how uh, C Central works. Uh, we have a clip from you from an earlier presentation. Uh, 
Exactly, where we're, we're demoing uh, how Remote Boost uh, actually works. So it's a four-minute video, so I uh, encourage you to just check that out. And also another video explaining the C-Central solution in video yeah. format. Yeah. And a couple of other videos uh, yeah, as we well. Have a AC. AC, so, exactly. Yeah. We have uh, Arup, uh, a quite a large architecture firm in the UK, uh, a reference video uh, uh, highlighting our, our reverb headset and how Arup is using that for, for, for their uh, workflows. And also, we and video showing the new liquid cooling construction. Yeah, by exactly. The way. And we are also also hanging around in the booth. Absolutely. So if you have questions or would like to talk to us in the booth, uh, we encourage you to go go there. And we're going to be there all day and tomorrow as well, of course. And just ask questions in the chat, and we'll make sure to follow up and connect with you and make sure you get the response uh, immediately. Yeah. So, I think with that, one minute ahead. Yeah. In time. Thank you all for listening and uh, have a great uh, continued Nordic BIM Summit. Thank you.